dear listeners, this is Akash Vani Kohima. I am your host, your Arjitya in the studio. And I welcome you all to our studio, to our program that is in continuation of our ongoing series in focus. And yes, my dear listeners, we have a panel of experts with us right now in our studio. And yes, before I introduce them to you, I just want to quite quickly highlight the title, the topic on which we will be discussing today. My dear listeners, the topic on which we will have this talk this afternoon is the strategies of tackling drug menace with a special focus on challenges of drug use and trafficking in Eastern Nagaland. So yes, challenges of drug use and trafficking in Eastern Nagaland. And this is indeed a serious topic. This is a discourse that we all need to have. So my dear listeners, we are excited to have with us in our studio today. We have SP Twin Sang, Mr. Kanchan Kumar Kanpa. Thank you, sir, for having the time and having the zeal to be here with us in the studio. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. It's uh, it's an honor uh, for me to be a part of uh, this program. And I hope uh, we'll definitely have good time here. Thank you. Exactly, sir. With him, we have with us a speaker free, Mr. Chinise Chakasan. Thank you, sir, for availing your time. Uh, thank you so much. I'm happy to be here this afternoon. Thank you. And also with uh, our policemen, we also have President mm -hmm. Nagadao and Director of Kripa Foundation, Kohima, Mr. Abu Meri. Thank you so much, sir, for gracing mm -hmm. us with your valuable time. Okay, thank you very much for inviting me. So, my dear listeners, once again, let me remind you that you are listening to this program at Akash Vani Kohima, FM Chakupan, at 103 MHz. Listeners from Mallory Shamato, Dumapo Tsening, Mon and Twinsang, you can tune in at 100.1 MHz. Listeners from Mokai, it's 101.8 MHz. Listeners from Peg, it's 102.1 MHz. Listeners from Mon and Twinsang, 101.1 MHz. And listeners from Zinabuto, you are tuning in right now with us at 101.2 MHz. So, my dear listeners, once again, I am going to remind you that this program is going to be an interactive program so you can send in your messages you can connect and you can write to us at fm space f at 9436805333 no or call our number at 037022 43036 and also this program is going live right now at our youtube channel akashwani kuhima live streaming and also it is available on our news on air app so my dear listeners let's begin with our program here so we have experts and yes as i told you that we will be discussing on the topic uh, challenges of drug use and challenges of trafficking of drugs in eastern nagaland we, and this program is in collaboration with nagaland police department my first uh, question uh, regarding challenges of drug use and trafficking in Eastern Nagaland would be what is the current scenario in Eastern Nagaland with regard to drug use and drug trafficking? Uh, thank you so much, Tia. Uh, actually, uh, when we talk about this uh, drug-related scenario or like uh, drug use and drug trafficking, so I don't want to segregate it into Eastern Nagaland or like it to into a particular district because it's a, a problem that is prevailing all over the society, not only in our, uh, let's say in my district or in my state, or let's say it is a uh, kind of uh, uh, an evil that is prevailed all over the country and to be uh, very honest in some part it is like uh, uh, if we see the graph in some parts we will see the uh, rise and in some parts okay it, mm -hmm. it's like this so i don't want to segregate it in that way but as you said ki uh, like uh, you want to focus in this eastern uh, nagaland part so as far as uh, talking about twin sun mm -hmm. So, if I compare data of 2021, 22 and 23, so the seizure made by Twinsang police, mm -hmm. because as I have worked there as HDPO also and now I am working there as an SP also. Mm -hmm. So, I personally have seen this, have gone through uh, of all this data and uh, checking this data for all those three years, okay. So, when we check the data, so our seizures has gone like threefold mm -hmm. what we were having in 2021. Uh, this year till September only, I am not including date of October and okay. November, okay. till September only we have already crossed three times what we had seized in 2021. So the seizure made by police is this much, so then you can clearly imagine mm. ki the drugs which is there in uh, public or which is in their society mm -hmm. uh, it must be at least 10 times. Mm. So uh, this issue is really burning uh, and I think, matlab, uh, 
with the help of society and uh, with collaboration with all the enforcement agency we must have to look uh, upon this issue uh, thank you uh, i want to to start the discussion i want to share the data about the kipri district uh, it's uh, not basically uh, confining myself to the district but to just give us a picture mm -hmm. it may not be a, uh, an actual picture or, or accurately portray the problem of drug menace but I think we can start from there. Uh, for this year, till date, uh, Kipri Police has registered 28 cases, mm. out of which uh, four cases are related to NDPS, uh, the narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances. So it basically comes to around 15%. Uh, so, uh, and the theft case, I think that we're coming to that later. The theft case, uh, we've registered two, two out of 25. So there's a uh, what we see here is that the data that we get in terms of the FIRs registered at the police station, the case that we have registered and are investigating, this may not be reflective of the actual situation at the ground level. And I think uh, that leads us to the point where we need to think about how much the public is coming forward to, uh, to report to the police regarding the problems at the ground, the trust issues that are there. And I think... Uh, there needs to be a more open-minded approach, uh, more of a, a point where there is more cooperation, uh, not only amongst the law enforcement agencies mm -hmm. and the NGOs, but with the public as well. Thank you. Uh, like you said, sir, the use of drug abusers have been rising. So how? what is the rehabilitation situation right now, especially in Eastern Nagaland? And if so, how effective are the rehabilitation centers? Actually, in Eastern Nagaland, uh, we don't have a uh, drug rehabilitation center per se. The Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment has sanctioned one rehabilitation center for Tungsang, which uh, was not able to kick off. So therefore, in reality, in Eastern Nagaland, even Mon, Tungsang, Nokla, Kipri, Samator, or, or <coughs> any district do not have uh, recently, one center has been approved and it's up and running in Mon. But uh, the the thing is that we need to empower them, train them, and so on. So now they, they are in 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 an infant stage. So the impact of providing quality service is still uh, yet to be seen. So uh, and it, as the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment Government of India has. Uh, committed to provide one center in each district across India. So I, I'm hopeful that other districts in Eastern Nagaland also will take up. Sir, as you are, uh, both of you have mentioned that there are many cases, most of these cases have not been registered or are not being reported. So are the number of police forces deployed in Eastern Nagaland sufficient in tackling drug trafficking? Uh, yet, yeah, I just want to correct you with one word because uh, like see there is a difference between registered and reported okay so whenever we get any information or whether it's few modo uh, like through our police personnel itself or whenever public gives us any information okay so we definitely police is there to register all those cases so just i want to correct in this thing yeah, many of the cases are not being reported to police station as told by my colleague uh, sp uh, kifre so like if we see that police stations uh, and our villages, uh, let's say our uh, villages are in uh, far flung area, okay? Like some are three hours from some mm -hmm. police stations, okay? Mm -hmm. Some are like from four or five hours from district headquarters, okay? So I don't know what is the reason, but uh, travel may be the one reason, okay? But that cannot be the alone reason. Mm -hmm. They are not, uh, uh, they are hesitating to come to us. Uh, there may be two, three reasons, okay? First thing is, uh, the drug abuser okay mm. must be like from their family only in a way that they have family man who in case drug come on with a ghetto sharam bill like a kidney got a get police kid but what we try to somehow we try to uh, reform in in our family only this and that okay so this is the main reason ki kile hai nijor basti laga naam to kile hai mihan police ke dibo ito laga ekta there is one hesitation okay second thing is uh, already discussed ki distance must may be one reason to ito nish na alak alak reason thakye ke na cases are not being reported to police station okay so that to correct uh, you and just for uh, common understanding so uh, now as you told us uh, as you asked me regarding the number of police force okay see if we 
सी द रेशियो ऑफ केस रजिस्टर्ड एंड दी पुलिस फोर्स डिप्लॉयड इन दैट एरिया सो यूल फाइन क्यू के फाइन इनफ लाइक टेन केसेज और लेट से वी हैव दिस मच ऑफ पुलिस पर्सन सो इफ यू सी जस्ट दिस डेटा सो यूल सी क्यू ओके एवरी थिंग इज फाइन बट एज यू गो डीप डाउन so we were having a discussion with our respected dgp sir also so he also emphasized on the uh, grassroots investigation of the case suppose we register one case and we start investigating it theek hai we go layer by layer so the main power that we need for this investigation so theek hai that includes the technical investigation that include the all this paperwork that includes uh, uh, going chain by chain and uh, cracking down all the linkages all the layers so for that purpose definitely we are short of uh, 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 i'll not say uh, just lack of police personnel i'll say lack of the uh, the technical experts okay the investigation that we need so definitely uh, we are short of that and main reason as we were discussing before this program also uh, is uh, nagaland police ka jo the around 50% of our portion is like armed uh, armed force okay mm. so they are not into investigation mm. so in any case we are we are not being able to utilize that main uh, power or mm-hmm. that uh, 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 our police force ha uh, mm-hmm. so we cannot use them to investigate some case so if we seen that ratio so definitely to investigate and to go layer by layer and to do that grassroots investigation de- definitely we are uh, uh, yeah sure, yes sorry in that context uh, <laughs> can the state government do something in that area if there is any suggestion yeah i i guess uh, the police is in, uh, involved in so many task mm. like the normal policy whether it's the it be in terms of the providing services to the people or the prevention of crime the detection of crime and investigation as we are discussing about now we are so involved in the maintenance of law and order so uh, what is needed presently at the moment as we are discussing is uh, the focus on investigation mm. so uh, basically the absolute number as the in terms of the police personnel available in the district it may be sufficient or may not be sufficient but that alone i think uh, will not actually uh, result in bringing about a change or being positive or negative but uh, what is important is the capacity building mm-hmm. or in terms of modern use of investigation mm-hmm. uh, technologies or techniques or the gadgets it's important like what what we what is called the force multipliers mm. uh, certain gadgets or knowing how to use it or the certain apps that are there that helps us to actually uh, tackle this menace so capacity building in terms of training the gadgets these are also important and the police department with the top brass at PSQ mm. is trying to orient the department along this line so that we'll be able to tackle this menace better So in order to curb this menace uh, do you think there should be more checkets as i remember i think sir was also there <laughs> last month we had a seminar on drug abuse uh, violence against women and there were uh, speakers from different uh, fields and they were suggesting they were in fact sh- uh, sh- they were voicing their plight that there were no checkets especially in nuklak and all so areas leading to myanmar area do you think that there should be more checkets okay let answer this in this way okay just na okay. okay have you ever been to like twinsang yes, or this yes. area okay okay so what is the route taken by like a normal uh, mm-hmm. if we take uh, this normal highway uh, uh, the commonly used highway that is like mokokchung to chare then longkim to twinsang mm-hmm. okay that is simple plain route okay? okay so if you say ki check gate are the uh, can be one of the uh, possible way to curb this uh, problem so let's establish one check gate at chare let's say the entra- entrance of twinsang mm-hmm. okay just for an example okay but i'll tell you from wokha to twinsang yes. we have 10 plus routes to reach to uh, twinsang headquarter mm-hmm. many shortcuts okay where any vehicle can go i am talking about four wheelers only mm-hmm. then there are a number of routes where two wheelers can easily fly okay so that must be like hundreds of the routes okay then pedal rasta mm-hmm. like where we can go mm-hmm. buy food mm-hmm. okay because trafficker to he just have to uh, uh, tra- traffic like mm-hmm. just transport mm-hmm. just one or two guys uh, one or two soap cases of this uh, sunflower whatever we say mm-hmm. this uh, uh, drug mm-hmm. so he can take any of the route so i don't think he only check gates can be a, a possible way to curb this thing but mm-hmm. yes Uh, like my colleagues can that is my mm. personal opinion okay so i think he rather focusing on check gates mm. if we can focus on uh, uh, more 
एडवांस्ड वे बी टेक्निकल सर्विलांस और बी इट लाइक इन्फॉर्मेशन बेस्ड पुलिसिंग वेर वी आर गेटिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम पब्लिक ओके ओके दिस इन दिस गाई इज ट्रेवलिंग फ्राम अवर विलेज एन वी सस्पेक्ट दैट ही मस्ट बी इन्वॉल्व इन सो सो इन सो ड्रग ट्रैफिकिंग दिस थिंग सो विद दैट टेक्निकल सर्विलांस एज वेल एज विद दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन बेस्ड पुलिसिंग विल बी एबल टू कैच मच मोर ड्रग ट्रैफिकर्स रादर establishing more and more ticket this is my just personal okay. mm-hmm. uh, let me supplement a little bit on that this especially sunflower br- uh, drug mm. is not a bulky thing i mean usually it comes in small quantities mm. so uh, to actually concentrate on tickets alone mm. i think we are going to the miss the whole point mm. and uh, i have been posted at noklak also and presently at kipiri so uh, we have around 93 km of the indo myanmar border Uh, under Nuklak district and around uh, 33 km uh, under Kipri so uh, we have few villages near the international border and uh, we have one or two roads which are linking the the villages on the other side of the border but uh, we also have a few bike tracks and because we have communities of the same tribe living on both side of the border Uh, these people do travel almost on a daily basis whether it's to visit their relatives mm-hmm. or or to actually go to the other side for cultivation purposes mm-hmm. so uh, the uh, movement of people is there and uh, we actually are not seeing too much of uh, like like stated earlier by my senior colleague of the road as such but movement of people across the border Well, we have the at the moment Assam Rifles the deployment of the Assam Rifles near the border so we are in touch with them because they deployed there to ensure that uh, we also get real time information the accurate information in case of the the inflow of drugs from that side from the Myanmar side we are also in touch with the the, the Nagaland village guards the villages uh, they have their presence in most of the villages on our side of the border uh, the within Nagaland so uh, since they have their presence in the villages uh, uh, there's a possibility that they will be having more information in case of any trafficking or consumption for that matter mm-hmm. so we are in touch with them and as stated earlier a uh, more focus should be on the targeted investigation and information mm-hmm. the check gets alone and and, and and in fact uh, if i may put it this way the traffickers or peddlers are going to in the avoid the mm. the main roads mm. and if mm. we are to place <laughs> all our available mm. manpower <laughs> in the gates fixed mm. in fact the mobile vehicle check post mm. the mvcps as we call i think uh, we find them to be much more effective uh, having the flexibility of timing uh, depending on when and where it is required so yeah that, that is what we will mm. take thank you so much sir for mm. shedding that light uh when we talk about uh, people suffering with drug addiction or people abusing drugs uh who are in rehabilitation right now or in rehab centers what is the adverse effect of sunflower the distribution of sunflower uh sunflower also is also is on an opiate drug like heroin brown sugar rpsp and all those things because uh, sunflower also is derived from the poppy flower so it's a opiate family so therefore is the handling withdrawal and all those things. if you can handle heroin brown sugar then it's not very difficult to handle withdrawal of of uh, sunflower however the difference between heroin and uh, sunflower is the price so because the during if you can remember during late 70s 80s and early 90s if you see heroin was very cheap but the price goes up then the, when the price goes up people start injecting then people some people move into pharmaceutical drugs even though, though those drugs are from opiate family but they have shifted into pharma pharmacology uh, this thing so and later on uh, when the some flowers come in it's become cheap so that lots of people have gone into again some flower for old timers and even the young young youngsters the young adolescents is become like a fashion a prey pressure and all those things so they are, they they have curiosity they have they want to try and all those things so there are lots of youngsters also jumping into this boat so because of the price uh, the consumption is high again uh, individual consumption not the number per se now if you can afford uh, spend 
five hundred rupees. In heroin, you will get two or three chairs. Yeah, but in brown sugar, you will you might get half gram. Uh, sorry, sunflower you might have have half gram. So if you keep on chasing, taking orally chasing sunflower, then to become an addict is very easy. So therefore, uh, the damage presently is done by sunflower. So as we are on the topic of sunflower, which is a very uh, serious topic yeah. right now, especially in Nagaland, what exactly is this sunflower drug and where is it ma manufactured? Can you, sir, please highlight? No, I, I, uh, out here, uh, we are all in dilemma. Dilemma, what are the content? Either some, some of the users itself also thinks that uh, it has some this uh, stimulant drug in it, not just opiate. But however, it has to go through a forensic and all those, those things. So the, through the AIDS program, we are also through NACO, we are also discussing the is issue with IC, IC. Maybe we have to take the samples to ICMR or AIMS to conduct a study and so on. But however, just last week when I was in Delhi and discussing the issue, some somebody has told me it's it, an easy way out because I'm uh, in touch with police headquarters, especially Robin sir and us, we are working together, but I, it's not clicking my, uh, my, my mind. But one of the gentlemen says, why you didn't you need to go a lengthy road? You can always call up the narco, narcotic control bureau mm -hmm. okay. uh, until unless they have proof that this is a opiate substance or mixed with uh, stimulant and all those things, they cannot book anybody. Mm -hmm. So they might have already checked. Mm -hmm. mm. So the mm -hmm. only thing is you just need to correspond with the okay. narcotic bureau mm -hmm. in Delhi and find out because there are lots of cases going on Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. So they might have already taken the sample, put in the forensic, and they might have already have the report with them, but we have not able to think in that line. So. We, at present, we don't know what, what content is there in sunflower. But however, seeing the withdrawal uh, definitely uh, is, is an opiate drug. Mm -hmm. The other evidence which we have is because brofenorphine is a substitute, substitution therapy drug. So brofenorphine also uh, works on to manage sunflower withdrawal. So if brofenorphine works, then it's definitely content opiate drugs. Mm -hmm. We are, I think, basically or generally understood as an kind of an adulterated heroin. Yeah. But the more uh, it becomes more complicated because it's supposedly more cheaper mm. and equally deadly, or if not deadlier. So heroin being an opiate uh, from the poppy plant. Right? So uh, we understand that it's coming from uh, the southeastern Asian countries mm. through Myanmar. Mm. So that is what we understand at the moment. Sunflower drug has become quite a menace for our society, especially it's affecting our young people. Yes, yes, and yes. there have been reports of theft and burglary, the being the robber, robbery, we have a theft in recent times. So how is the police uh, department coping with this issue? I think this uh, topic nah, this is a very important uh, question did, uh, you just asked. So I just want to uh, address all those listeners okay, who are listening to us in all those villages and in those colonies and other things. So, I will just speak in Nagamis only. Why? Because, uh, because this message is to uh, all those uh, common listeners. Okay. So what I want to say is, sunflower. To ek ta sa mehan sab koishe ki to do pishi bhi ek ta drug se ek bar khaye shi bolle to aru bhi na khaye shi bolle to manu to pakla nishna nikha hoja. Matlab he feel little bit miniac or kiki ko bop. Okay. So ab now he wants sunflower. Taiki ki to lagi lagi sunflower. Okay. So what he starts doing? He'll steal something. He'll go theft karega. Okay. Na tha ke liye to robbery the bhi jabo, bia kam bhi kurbo. Sometimes vehicle theft and so many other things. Okay. This is the things we are uh, the public is reporting to us. Okay. Ami hain to paye se ki theft to aise. In last two three months, uh, in uh, like last four months, I just compiled data. So almost out of 14 uh, theft case reported in Twinsang. Okay. Out of that 13 we cracked. Okay. 
आउट ऑफ दीज थर्टीन एट केसेस लगा एक्यूज खन तो दे वर लाइक इन टू ड्रग्स एज एडमिटेड बाई देम वी कूडेंट सी एनी ड्रग्स फ्रॉम देम एट दैट मोमेंट बट वेन आई वेन वी आज देम कि वाई आर यू डूइंग ऑल दिस थिंग मतलब यू आर जस्ट यंग सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन ईयर्स ओनली वाई आर यू डूइंग दिस थिंग सो तहन लगा तो जस्ट दे हैड दिस सिंपल आंसर कि हमें इनके तो ड्रग्स लगे तो टाइम टाइम जरूरी तो अलग कस्टली भी ऐसे जस्ट टू थाउजेंड फाइव थाउजेंड फॉर वन डोज तो इतना कारण में क्या करें थके सो दैट दीज आर दी केसेज दैट आर बींग रिपोर्टेड टू पुलिस स्टेशन ओके बट वन मोर थिंग दैट वी आर नॉट फोकसिंग एंड पुलिस कैन नॉट ट्रैक ऑल दोज थिंग इज थेफ्ट बींग हैपन्ड इन इन साइड देर देर हाँ निजो ला घर थे वाई बिकॉज सपोज कुनबा असे तैला बच्चा निजो ड्रग्स थे असे ठीक है सो हिल नॉट गो आउट वट हिल डू ही नोज वेर मनी इज बींग निजो ला घर थे जैसे कोरे एंड नाउ फैमिली इवन इफ दे नो कि निगा हुए से जैसे एक तो शर्म लगा भी कि बात है दूसरा तो हाँ कि निगा करो पुलिस थे जैसे कोलो कि ना होगा ना सो दिस इज़ द पॉइंट आई वांट टू एड्रेस टू ऑल द विलेजर्स तो अपनी हन कुनबा भी निगा थेफ्ट केस इन केस अपने लगा निजो ला विलेज थे भी हुए से निजो लगा कॉलोनी थे भी या निजो लगा घर थे भी सो प्लीज डू इन्फॉर्म अस पुलिस खन के तो रिपोर्ट करो ही लगे बिकॉज अंटिल एंड यू रिपोर्ट टू अस विल नॉट बी एबल आमी खन तो ना पार अपनी खन के हेल्प कर बोले और तय खन खाए भी ऐसे तो विल नॉट ट्रीट देम एज अ लाइक हार्ड कोर क्रिमिनल या की की ऐसे ओके वील चेक वी हैव वी राइट नाउ ऑल्सो वी हैव अवर कलीग हेयर फ्रॉम दिस सोसाइटी सो हिल टेल की इतना स्टिग्मा निशिना भी हो जाए अमीखान भावे कि अरे तैखन तो क्या खाए से तो दे आर लाइक दैट हार्ड कोर क्रिमिनल की की हुए से कोई ना तो देर आर सो मेनी प्रोविजेंस इज लॉ आल्सो फॉर रिहेबिलिटेशन ओके फॉर रिफॉर्मेशन एंड सो मेनी अदर हेल्प आल्सो सो अपनी खन लगा अगर निजोला बस्ती थे कॉलोनी थे फैमिली थे तो निशिना की बात तो प्लीज डू डू रिपोर्ट इट टू पुलिस एंड एज फार एज यूर क्वेश्चन इज कंसर्न सो येस थेफ्ट केसेज आर इंक्रीजिंग एंड वन ऑफ दी मेन रीजन अपार्ट फ्रॉम अदर रीजन इज ड्रग एब्यूज बिकॉज दे नीड इजी मनी दे नीड फास्ट मनी एंड दे नीड तारा तारी पर इतना ही पैसा लगे से तो दे जस्ट रिजोर्ट टू दिस थिंग थेफ्ट केसेज सो येस फॉर टू इंसल्ट बी इज इंक्रीजिंग एंड रेस्ट ऑफ डिपार्ट माई कलीग विल डेफिनेटलीस आफ्टर इफेक्ट और इज एन साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ Uh, the uh, drug abuse uh, basically like stated earlier drug abuse uh, is deadly it harms the mind it harms the body but it, it it also has a very negative effect on the resources and the economy so from people who come from good families or uh, whose parents or families may have sufficient resource the abuser will have to go to their families create problem the families try to get the uh, the money to mm-hmm. because of the need to frequently buy and consume so they are going to uh, disturb their family but for those who uh, don't have uh, or come from uh, poorer backgrounds definitely they are going to resort to uh, theft or robbery so uh, drug menace is such a big problem the theft may theft in a maybe a simple case it could be just for 500 rupees or 1000 rupees but actually these are uh, if we think that theft case is a small issue and if we don't report this actually is going to be damaging for the society for the family mm-hmm. because we we know that uh, this could be connected to the bigger problem because somebody who is uh, indulging in theft or robbery uh, because he is addicted to drugs or he is abusing drugs so if we actually get the report of uh, this theft case and and, and understand that he is a consumer or an abuser of drugs that will help us to actually get to the main issue of this drug menace help us to understand who is the supplier of drugs in this particular case so uh, reporting of drugs i uh, mean theft case is is very important especially in those areas which are vulnerable to drug abuse and uh, our department the police department is also uh, taking a very holistic approach trying to not just uh, concentrate on tackling this menace in terms of a few smugglers or peddlers but trying we are trying to also connect this issue the, the trafficking issue not just confined to one district but in other districts as well so the department is um, give, uh, given all effort to ensure that we can somehow connect the uh, the trafficking network or the cartels in the state so uh, a simple theft case when reported could lead to actual to positive action being taken to to tackle this menace mm.
It is indeed a very important thing that sir has highlighted all about the sirs that early intervention lage because when someone abuse drug mm-hmm. it does not only affect him it affects the whole uh, family system it affects the whole society as a whole to apni khambi guni thagi na gor manu thagi she gele do don be ashamed i think julli help di dia hi i think that is the best mm-hmm. cure prevention is better than cure koi so we will take a short break Welcome back dear listeners you are listening to our program in focus on the topic a drug free nagaland in collaboration with another police department and on today's episode we are discussing on the challenges of drug use and trafficking in eastern nagaland with our experts here sp twinsa mr kanchan kumar kanpa sp kifri mr chinisei chakasan and president nagadao and director kripa foundation mr abu mere so my dear listeners you can also connect with us you can send in your messages if you have any questions if you have any queries then we have our panelists so we have expert panel here so you can write to us at fm space f send your messages at 9436805333 no char tin che achne panch tin 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 di apni kan question kan tagile apni habi kumba itula upore kothan de jani bole mon tagile de to de message korna likhi kina pathai dibi to we are going to continue with our talk here so sir there was an incident a very unfortunate incident of a truck peddler went to the extent of hacking someone to death which shows the graveness the gravity of the situation so what steps are uh, is the state government is the police department uh, taking to ensure that this incidents like incidents like this does not happen in the future acha you must be talking about that one incident yes, where yes. Uh, yeah. some uh, public they went to uh, yeah. catch that fellow and he then see the Uh, thing is very simple. I will. I will be very practical. Okay, rather being uh, more into <laughs> this book and other thing. Okay, so see the one who is uh, is influence of drugs. Okay, so he is literally a dangerous guy. Mm-hmm. Okay, why? Because I am telling you, he is out of his senses. Okay, mm-hmm. and I mean, how do you do sunflower? Can eat it. Okay, so this sunflower is the the most degraded form of the drug. I literally want to say thing. Okay, so this really corrupt our mind. Mm-hmm. So. whenever someone is in influence of this drugs okay he is definitely danger he, he may be a violent guy mm. he may be he, he can do this theft mm. and other thing he can do whatever he wants okay because literally he doesn't have any control on himself okay so that in- incident was like that only okay without any precaution or without any information to poli- uh, police or whatsoever i don't know uh, that incident in uh, uh, in detail but whatever i read through newspaper and other uh, social media okay so you asked me ki what are the steps government should take or like what are the steps should be taken to uh, curb all this kind of incidents is as we are emphasizing more and more more, more and more to report any offense okay means any drug related uh, consumption smuggling trafficking anything first you report it to police because we have clear cut sops to deal with all those uh, traffickers to all those who whosoever are involved in consumption okay so rather going yourself okay rather taking law in your hand okay mm-hmm. not uh, uh, i am not saying that ki we don't want any uh, uh, support or any cooperation from public that is essential okay that is essential but to action okay first inform police police will take lead and they will do the needful as per the sops mm-hmm. okay why police force is a trained for all this operation is because of all these reasons okay we know the sops we know how to deal with all of uh, all those uh, peddlers or all those smugglers and all those who are in into mm-hmm. influence okay so rather uh, taking steps on their own first inform police police will definitely come and help you and police himself uh, police we as a police person we ourselves will lead the operation so i think that is the most practical and the basic answer for this question as per my understanding okay so basic crux is this thing whenever apni hantu kitya bhi ni ka khabar pai shegi itu manu to drugs bika ठीक है इतु मनुटो ड्रग्स खाए ना तो इतु मनुटो ड्रग्स लगा ट्रैफिकिंग ते इन्वॉल्व हसे माने ट्रैफिकिंग माने अलो कॉमन इतु भाषा ते कोबो तो एक जगह पर दूसरा जगह तक पुंजा बोले लगा काम कुरा मनु खान अपनी हन कितिया भी इतु निशिना खबर होनी से कोई ले तो निजोर पर आगे ना हो गए ना ठीक है ताई के सुकू पर तो ध्यान देवी की ताई कौन जगह ते बोहे हसे की कुरे हसे 
पोला बोले तो चांस नहीं था लगा सब तो निजर पर सही था कि भी बट फर्स्ट हैंड इन्फॉर्मेशन तो पुलिस के तारा तारी पर दे बोला बी इट मिड नाइट बी इट लाइक अल्ली फुजोर में ले भी वी ऑल आर देयर एज ए पुलिस पर्सनल फ्रॉम टू इंसान डिस्ट्रिक्ट आई कैन से यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट मी माई एनी ऑफ माई ऑफिसर एनी ऑफ माई जवान एट Any hour, okay, twenty four seven, and that is true for all all over the state police. Okay, I mean, I do can't need his salary pay as a because for this is our work. We are here for this thing only. ठीक है तो इतु लगा कि वह भी खबर आई थी कोई लेतो rather acting on your self because it's very dangerous. ओके तो इतु निजोर ना करेगे ना पुलिस कंड के फर्स्ट इनफॉरमेशन दी भी इतु पीछे था मिहन पक्का पक्की विदिन मिनिमम टाइम में मिहन पुंजीगे ना एक्शन तो किया ऐसे इतु लोगो यस फर्स्टली इट वाज सच एन वेरी अनफॉर्च्यूनेट इंसिडेंट एंड वी होप वी होप दैट इट डस नॉट डस नॉट हैपन इन द नियर फ्यूचर आई वांट टू ऐड दैट इफ दैट पर्सन हैपेंस टू बी अ ड्रग ट्रैफिकर we understand that the trafficker or the drug peddler has taken very disproportionate risk mm. invested lots of money in trying to procure the drug to sell it again to the consumers so uh, if such a person mm. is caught or is reported to the police we understand that he's going to lose lots of money and that that makes him a dangerous mm. person but because who want to lose money so uh, that that is the first point there and secondly uh, the ndps act is a very strong act and the person person who is involved in drug drug trafficking understands that when he is caught by the police mm. and a case is registered against him is going to suffer a lot so uh, for the public to actually tackle such a person mm. single handedly or for that matter even in group that would be a very uh, dangerous thing to or a dangerous way to go about mm. and like my senior has uh, already said that the best way to go about and we really need this from the public mm. to inform us mm. should there be any information should there be any side of any uh, any one involved in trafficking that should be the priority should be to send the information immediately to the police and once that information is received by us and we start acting on it it becomes our responsibility to ensure the confidentiality or to ensure that because we're acting on it to ensure the security of the the person who has given us information also just to add uh, one point ki uh, there uh, may be a question like how to report to police they don't want to reveal their identity as told by him so our uh, police department have come up with one app maiden app okay. okay so this app is for this thing only uh, you can uh, anonymously without telling your identity without letting anyone know that uh, you are giving this information you can just pass on the information to us mm. it will uh, be routed to the uh, concerned uh, police personnel who suppose let's say you want you want to tell to insang police mm. uh, about uh, some drug smuggler or some uh, drug trafficking going on in twinsang area okay mm. you just uh, download that app you uh, type all those things uh, there are clear cut mention a very easy to um, uh, handle app okay so you can just very uh, simple interface of that app okay you can just type your information there you can send it to us and it will be rerouted to the insang police and accordingly will be directed by our senior authorities or like uh, then then we we, we can act or basing on that that information that. and that will be pure purely anonymously Anonymous. it will be done mm. so this you can so basically mm. definitely the police department needs the support of the public yeah, yeah definitely civil societies mm. but they are trained they are authorized they are authorized agency so what we can do as responsible citizen is report if if they chance upon any situation and not mm. act on mm. it mm. thank you so much we have a message here sure. and this message reads what is the medical and what is the medical effect of sunflower drug for instance effects of alcohol loss of inhibition hoy to medical effect ekdom tik pra jani bole bun jaye se ta ji uh see any substance be it alcohol or any drugs affects our mental physical spiritual and our emotions so it depends so now is specifically talking about Uh, sunflower so sunflower is uh, again as i said is an opiate drug so it affects our mental and our physical especially so uh, the withdrawal is joint pain restlessness running nose tear running and so on and then uh, restlessness so most of the complaints are body ache and joint pain and then once that is over then there is loss of appetite and 
unable to sleep and all those happen so those are the sums of the signs and symptoms of the uh, withdrawal of sunflower mm. okay thank you so much sir we have another uh, message here and this one is uh, it does not have a name however this reads Nagaland has a has a porous border and the eastern part of Nagaland is in no doubt the gateway for the inflow of drugs so how prepared is the state police uh, department in, in order to tackle inflow of drugs especially in the border areas yes thanks for the question as stated earlier uh, the few districts along the international border like uh, Nopalak and district uh, Kipri that have been posted to uh, we have uh, the Assam, Assam Rifles who have destro uh, deployed their these Yobis at the border. What we need to understand here is that we may not have proper roads uh, reaching the border and then getting connected to the other villages across the border. Another thing that we need to understand is that uh, we have community, the people from same community residing on both sides of the border. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is where the complexity and the sensitivity comes in. Of course, there are uh, perhaps advantages to it as well. Uh, one thing which uh, actually, at the moment, we are quite, uh, let, let us say, quite happy about is that there is a little information about the drugs coming in from the Myanmar side at the moment. We are on the lookout uh, to on our toes to ensure that we are not caught off with should uh, the drugs start coming in or is coming in from Myanmar into our state. Uh, it's more of the other way around, the drugs coming in from the, from the other districts within our own state. Like I've mentioned earlier, we're in touch with the Assam Rifles. We have monthly coordination meetings, uh, the narcotic coordination meeting with, where the Assam Rifles are also called. I've personally uh, requested them because uh, they are at the border. Uh, I've requested them that they share information on real-time basis that we're able to actually keep a tab on the movement of the people also. Uh, we also have the what is called the, uh, the free movement regime to facilitate movement of the communities residing on both sides of the border in Noklak as well as in uh, Kipri and also in Peg District, I, I believe. Mm. So the disadvantage there is that there is daily movement and which makes it the monitoring more. But uh, I think the advantages, the positive positive side of it that is that the villages across the border, they are all together, it is a different country. But uh, because we have people from the same, same community uh, residing in our side of the border, we have that channel where we can reach out to our people living on our side, to reach out to the, uh, the people uh, residing on the other side and come to a certain community kind of decisions where uh, there is a need to tackle problems like this drug menace uh, to ensure that the communities are involved on both sides of the border to ensure that uh, no one uses the porous border or uses the mm -hmm. the facilities or the move uh, the fmr that is there kept in place to facilitate the, the movement across the border so across the border definitely I'm repeating that we are we are on the watch to ensure that it doesn't does not uh, the drug inflow does not happen. But for the moment, I think we're not uh, witnessing much. Mm. And yes, we are also in touch with the village guards, the people residing in the villages. Uh, perhaps we can, in the near future, utilize or find better ways to also utilize the services of the village guards. Uh, of course, they belong in because they are settled. Or, uh, or they belong to a particular village, posted in their own village, uh, perhaps the inhibitions to report certain activities, that problem could also be there. But if we can uh, properly utilize them to the extent of refine their responsibilities to actually help us in specific uh, tasks like combating drug menace, I'm very sure that mm -hmm. we'll be able to tackle this issue better. Sir, is there a drug problem in the police department? there is, then what are the steps that the department is taking to ensure that they try to rehabilitate your officers? Uh, see, largely police is also part of one society only, okay? Mm -hmm. They are also, we are also from some family from mm -hmm. our society only. So if some problem is there in society, so definitely 
we cannot say ki okay this and this department will not be uh, affected or like ki uh, they are yeah, so investors uh, investor, so mm-hmm. and so thing but uh, see two aspects of this thing first thing to uh, just in a general term i told you okay i i i, to, uh, I have just told you the second uh, point is if we get any information okay be it a police personnel mm-hmm. or a non police matlab uh, it's a bit as some from other uh, let's say department or say without non working guy okay whosoever be it a student or anyone okay we take the same uh, law take the same action for everyone okay we'll register fir so even if he is my bodyguard let's say okay he is involved in drugs mm-hmm. and if i get to know about this thing mm-hmm. so definitely we'll take same action that is prescribed in the law book okay so that is to clear cut regarding our uh, steps you are talking but as of now for my district my colleague will be uh, able to tell about other districts matlab his district from my district so as of now we haven't registered any case and we didn't get any information mm-hmm. that uh, so and so police personnel uh, is involved in drug trafficking drug smuggling or drug uh, abuse okay so uh, but still i want to say that uh, Uh, mm-hmm. if you are saying this thing and uh, we can uh, pass message uh, we can pass message from this platform that if anyone has any information mm-hmm. that uh, okay this and this is a police guy and he is in- involved in a uh, drug related business or uh, drug mm-hmm. consumption and so many thing he can any day come to us okay mm-hmm. without telling anyone he can just approach sp mm-hmm. stpos additional sp anyone any police officer he can uh, approach us and we'll definitely take the same action as uh, Yeah, uh, the department is very clear mm. as to whoever is involved in drugs or trafficking, for that matter, the serious action will be taken. So that much, the department is very clear, and uh, I believe certain actions have already been initiated against certain personnel, mm. resulting in discharge of a uh, few personnel from the service. Also, the department is also trying to bring order in its own house mm. uh, while tackling these menaces. we have already sent few of our personnel from our unit also to rehabilitation centers mm, same so <laughs> that's what we have done that actually we have done we have uh, assisted we have tried to find good centers rehab centers for them and uh, we have also given them special leave mm. so that they do not actually have to feel that they've wasted their leave their mm. kind of a welfare facility that is there for them so a few have come back also so we we are in the process of reviewing reviewing the effectiveness of the rehab center and i think while reviewing the the effectiveness of or, or the success of the program in a particular individual i think we'll get to understand how effective that rehabilitation center also is so we are hope we are hoping that our personnel who have come back or will be coming back will be uh, coming back as a reformed person so we're trying to put our house in order and hopefully in the near future Uh, will be able to go all out uh, to tackle this menace without it uh, bothering without having to bother too much about our own personal uh, circling back to uh, people suffering with drug addiction mm. what is the current scenario right now in Nagaland as you yourself are well, no yeah so again if uh, current scenario if we wanted to talk about current scenario then we have to go back mm-hmm. to, to have uh, some baseline so that is going up or declining so uh, as i said earlier so during heroin times it has gone up in 80s and 90s and then the heroin use has come down like anything else because of the heroin price has gone up because of the golden triangle that when general consaus uh, factory has been uh, destroyed and all those things so the scarcity the traces of heroin has come in so that was the pure heroin white heroin and the price has short up i like anything so uh, there are crises in the at the same time the price has gone up so people have moved into pharmaceutical drug at that point of time many people think that the drug use per se has come down but i don't think it has come down but because we don't see people on withdrawal mm. um, those days when when we, there are on heroin when the crises come mm. during some political situation in the border or during monsoon season in in a year uh, two three times there is always a crisis when the crisis come up all the drug users come out hunting for their drugs running around on a bike here yeah, and those days there is no mobile so everybody is come out in the town could they pass could they pass tell other person nice so oh it to manuka wala suru it to manuka wala suru then we identified now what happened 
later on it's come come down to pharmaceutical drugs so pharmaceutical drugs substitution is very easy by one another uh, so in a pharmacy so so it's the number is high but it's very difficult to identify now it comes in with sunflower the sunflower so the withdrawal is very severe unlike pharmaceutical drugs therefore we can identify but there is a bit but all the uh, negotiation is taking place through mobile the advanced technology those days they don't have we don't have mobile now they have mobile iman so baji so it's it's become a challenge for the police or other people also and to get stuff also it's become easy they, they can bring into do your doorstep or you can just meet in a town iman baji de so it's become easy so now now people are moving from pharmaceutical drug into sunflower so the, definitely the economy which we are dis- discussing the economy of our state will be hampered because sunflower or any pharmaceutical drug is not, not manufactured from our state so the money is of course is going out and once this thing happen and then people are slowly shifting into injecting again so people some people says that sunflower is not injectable but in the case if you see a few years back if you go back pasmoproxyone the scientists are unable to develop the pasmoproxyone into iv or uh, im so therefore they have made it in a capsule as a painkiller but we drug users has dissolved the sunflower and start injecting so similar way that now drug users are also injecting sunflower so the hazard how much it will going to affect in we don't know but in the near future we'll see lots of side effects of those sunflower those days in which sp pasmoproxivon we have seen lots of ulcer and abscess in position of hands legs and all those those are the side effects of pasmoproxivon we are yet to see the side effect of sunflower but due to injection but the side injection. effects are inevitable they're it's definitely because it's not injectable drug just few minutes remaining in our program a very interesting topic i think we should have more conversations about mm. uh, the menace of drug drugs and its effect in especially in nagaland but with just five minutes as i look at the studio club five minutes remaining uh, in your own words few lines what should be the way forward in tackling or in uh, combating drug drugs as a menace as for our society in your own words the easiest way to go ahead is nagaland state government has has to approve the nagaland state substance abuse prevention and treat, treatment policy once that's come out then the role of the police the role of education department the role of the ngos the role of youth resource uh, all those things will come now uh, these problems is look like only the police uh, problem here with medical department we don't need to do anything else but it's very clear that the yes police has to work on supply reduction but there are uh, treatment like treatment detoxification is a part of health department and rehabilitation is part of of a social for department but primary prevention when it's come to primary prevention the church the education department youth resource everybody has to play it on the own role so in that policy is very clearly defined so i if we wanted to do something else concretely then we have we should have a policy in place uh, yes uh, the department is also going all out to create awareness of the uh, the abuse of the drug the its ill effects uh, in our own uh, areas uh, the district police will also be going out to the interior villages especially at the border we're in touch with the ngo like a kripa foundation and uh, we're in also in touch with the uh, another ngo based at tunsan we want to create awareness among the public and also encourage the public to come forward so that they can help us so that we can jointly tackle this uh, uh, this problem together uh, for me i just want to say this thing that it's a war it's a war against drugs okay so we all are uh, a part of this war Okay. If we lose this war, we lose whole of the, our generation. And uh, this I am telling you that after down the ten twelve years later on, we'll uh, definitely going to. बोलते हैं ना कि कंदी बो निश्चित है कि why didn't we take any step this time? Okay, so it's a war against drug going on. So through proper ch- channel, public should come forward, uh, support police and support all other agencies who are involved in uh, tackling this. Uh, 
drug uh, related issues and definitely with a collaborative approach with the help of all the stakeholders will definitely able to curb this uh, problem and definitely will make this society an ideal society this is the money last one thank, thank you. you so much sir for sharing all your insights your knowledge and so much information for our listeners this it is definitely a war for all of us so we should all put our war footing ahead and yes my dear listeners always say no to drugs and with this we come to the end of our program you were just listening to our ongoing series in focus a drug free nagalin today on our panel we had sp twin sang mr kanchan kumar kanpal sp Kifari, Mr. Chinise Chakasang, and President Nagadao and Director Kripa Foundation, Kohima, Mr. Abu Mire. With this, we come to the end of our program. Have a wonderful evening.